This is uh, Amelia's doctor. This is uh, Shoujo Jessica. So yeah, these two characters are very interesting. Uh, Amelia is a tank that can counter range attack, which is pretty awesome. Uh, works similarly to land use, although she has to cast an active skill in order to counter two range attack. And uh, Shoujo Jessica is kind of a mage who can uh, also heal. So it's also very interesting and she can carry one of the best, uh, you know, new, um, yeah, she can carry one of the best new units in this game. Uh, it's a unit that can increase the heal ability of the character and can also remove debuffs. So yeah, very interesting characters. And uh, this uh, Shoujo Jessica just looks super cute, right? Compared with the Jessica that we have in global version. Yeah, she just uh, looks very cute. And uh, we can see that people are getting crazy. All these people um, started summoning immediately when this banner comes up. And uh, yeah, so basically we can see, okay, so we do see some off banner characters, but mostly people are getting pretty lucky calling both the Shoujo Jessica and Amelia. So can we get these characters that we see? Let's see. Yeah, the character that's, uh, I really want to get is this Amelia because she can be a very nice tank. Uh, currently, we only have like mainly two tanks in our like Apex Arena box, which will be like which is like Landius and Juggler. Uh, and uh, if like we can pull her, maybe she can be like the third very strong tank in this uh, in Apex Arena. So let's just uh, start. SSR, please. No SSR. So I guess I will just skip that. Um, yeah, very very boring. Just uh, some Lifni. And uh, can we get a SSR this time? This is the 20th summon. Okay. Please, please, please. Okay. Still no SSR. That's okay. Usually. Yeah, and uh, we still have some to go. Can we? Oh, yes, SSR. Yes, can we get Amelia or Shoujo Jessica? Who will we get? And, uh, oh, Amelia. Oh. That's nice. Yeah, that's the new tank that I uh, really, really want to summon. Um, yeah, very, yeah, very good character. Can we get another? Can we get uh, Shoujo Jessica also? Okay, so nice. We just uh, got, uh, we just uh, summoned Amelia. Very good. Yeah, she is one of the character that uh, uh, really want to have because yeah, she just uh, works very. Yeah, she just uh, will be a very good tank. Let's see if we can summon Shoujo Jessica also. Can we get another SSR? No. Yeah, let's see if we can pull the other SSR, which is the Shoujo Jessica. Okay, so these are still SR units. 
subscribe button again. Okay, still no. Yeah, so it could be hard to get another. Let's check out uh, her skill first. So uh, here is our Amelia. Yeah. Oh, very cute, actually. I can't see anything that is similar to Vegas, actually. Can't believe she is actually Vegas doctor. And she has long hair too, right? Compared to like, <laughs> and compared to like, uh, compared to Vegas, that's so different. You know, we know that Vegas has basically no hair, and uh, but she has a very very long hair. I guess, yeah, that's kind of interesting. You know, so basically, uh, she has one uh, lance lancer class, and the other is holy class, and. Uh, Basically, if we check her scale here, uh, this scale is uh, is the scale that unique to her. I bet only she can learn this scale in this game. And uh, uh, what it does is that uh, uh, it will guard uh, all the physical, uh, both the physical attack and the magical attack for uh, friendly units uh, within two spots if she uh, like cast the scale. And uh, the passive will just, uh, you know, um, guard the units within one range. Uh, so if she use the scale, uh, the range will plus one and becomes two. And uh, more importantly, this scale actually convert her magic defense and uh, to replace her attack. And uh, we can see both her like magic defense and physical defense are actually pretty high. Uh, so yeah, in the end, she can like tank both the magic attack, like ma magic attack and physical attack, and uh, also like because she can convert the magic defense to attack, and this conversion factor is actually 1.6. If we remember the other characters who can do this kind of conversion, right? Uh, who is battle? It's only 1.5 conversion factor, and the other like least tail. Here it is also 1.5, but Amelia here she has a conversion factor of 1.6, and uh, this actually allow her to have to stack a very high attack, uh, as well as very like high defense and uh, uh, and uh, high magic defense. So it means that uh, like both uh, physical units and uh, you know magical units uh, will not be effectively to kill her and uh, yeah she is just uh, awesome and she can stack uh, you know high attack if you like dare to use any single target on her she will counter attack heavily so you will you know you may kill yourself by just uh, attacking her and uh, yeah so her class if we check here uh, so uh, the first class will be the lancer class and uh, there is Really nothing special that she can learn from this class. And uh, from this um uh from this um this uh, holy class she can learn so this is also pretty interesting. So this is a passive scale. Uh so when entering the battle, if she has a higher defense than the enemy, then she will attack first. Uh, like she will attack before your enemy. This is super, super, super strong. So let's think about if you have a mage unit and uh, you want to attack her with your mage. And uh, you know, when your mage try to attack her, uh, because your mage usually have very low defense, she will actually attack your mage first before you even, like before your mage even touch her. And because she has a very high attack and high de uh, magic defense, this is basically if you use any like magical units to attack her, they just uh, potentially kill themselves. So a very strong scale as well. So I, I think I think uh, like the scale kit for this character is that she will always bring this uh, uh, guard scale, uh, which is like special to her, and then she will bring uh, this scale here, which is called like uh, justice uh, justice battle. 
right? Uh, and uh, this is a very strong passive scale. And then uh, she will learn the other scale that is active attacking scale. So this is basically uh, like 1.5 uh, physical, like deal 1.5 physical damage. And then this scale also allows her to convert magic defense to attack. And the conversion factor is again uh, 1.6. And then after casting this scale, she can also counter um, the enemy. So this is a very, very strong unit, uh, much stronger than like, I would say at least in PvP, much stronger than dating. Uh, the reason that she is strong is because she has a, a, a scale that can allow you to actively attack your enemy, which has a cooldown of only two turns. And she has a two turn cooldown, um, like two, two turn cooldown uh, guard scale. So basically, she has both the guard uh, scale and the actively attacking scale, and then she has the uh, very strong uh, passive scale that uh, allows her to deal damage first. Uh, uh, like even you have assassin attack her because assassins they all have you know very low defense. She will actually attack your assassin before your assassin like touch her. I think uh, basically overall these skills makes her very very strong. This is why you know this um, in this Chinese server people are getting like crazy. Uh, all these people you know uh, although like Shoujo Jessica is very cute and people. Yeah, you know, some of them also want to like poker, but really, if you check the, you know, what channel here, uh, what they all talk uh, talking about is basically Amelia. Like basically, if you want to like focus on PvP, you should just summon her and maybe like try to grant her to like higher star later. Yeah, so we are getting very lucky, uh, and uh, we are getting very lucky to have her here. So I think. Uh, uh, this is all. Um, this is all about uh, this video. Uh, yeah, we are very lucky to summon her. Yeah, and uh, I believe she will be a very like relevant unit in the season three of the Apex Arena. So that's all about this video, and uh, see you guys later.